When I first started researching glass design, I was still in college, and you look at the history of glass and the way glass has developed, and Pilkington's name was all over it. We have a lot of history right here in Rossford, such that the town was built around this facility. Mr. Ford came here with a whole bunch of people that know how to make glass and said, I'm going to build a factory. History of Pilkington and NSG is essentially one of huge innovation. Everybody was making glass 70 years ago by the same method. But Pilkington tried and tried and eventually succeeded in doing what had nobody else could do, floating molten glass on, on molten tin. The float line process revolutionized glass industry because we're able to produce at least 10 times the amount of glass we were in the grinding and polishing process. And Pilkington was the first to the market. You know, we were the first company to develop the sheet glass process. We were the first company to develop the float process in the 50s. We were the first company to do pyrolytic low E. We were one of the first companies to do an oxy-fired furnace. So the, the drive for continuous improvement and innovation in our products and in our processes is, is, is deeply embedded within our company culture. That's who we are. We want to drive new technologies and we want to be people that are leading the glass and glazing fields to say what things are going to drive the future and that's how we're going to drive of our company. It would be really easy to just go through and say, oh, well, these are the only products that we have. But being able to go in and say, okay, well, we want to help you more. We want to take the extra step. It just, it, it gives more pride in your work. It's hard for us to be here since 1898 if we weren't always being cutting edge. So that's for us is making sure that we're focusing the energies by being innovative, by predicting what the customer's gonna want tomorrow or predicting what the customer's gonna want next month. And NSG is now leading the way in technical innovations, examples such as vacuum insulating glazing. There are so many types of glass and thickness and colors and coatings that there are a billion combinations in there. It's all there, it's all there waiting to be used. It's time for the public to catch up with what technology is available. <laughs>